inflation. It's formally defined as the rate of increases of prices of goods over a given time. Except, there's no possible way that we can measure all the goods, right? So how exactly do we know the level of inflation? Meet our two friends, CPI and PCE, also known as the Consumer Price Index and the Personal Consumption Expenditures. So, how exactly do they work? The CPI is a basket of goods and services that represents the average monthly change in the prices paid by urban consumers for a variety of everyday items. This basket includes things like food, housing, clothing, transportation costs, medical care, entertainment, and other goods and services. The Bureau of Labor Statistics surveys prices every month in urban areas across the country to compile the CPI. It's like taking the economic temperature of the nation's consumer environment. On the other hand, the PCE, which is compiled by the Bureau of Economic Analysis, takes a slightly different approach. While the CPI focuses on out-of-pocket expenditures of urban consumers, the PCE casts a wider net. It includes expenditures by businesses, nonprofit institutions, and government entities on behalf of households. It also adjusts for changes in consumer behavior, meaning if 10 years ago most people were buying incandescent light bulbs and now they're buying energy efficient LED bulbs, the PCE would readjust its calculations to the price of the newer LED bulbs. So, which one is more accurate? Well, that's a matter of debate among economists. The Federal Reserve, for instance, prefers the PCE, as it believes it offers a more comprehensive view of the economy's overall health. However, many analysts and policymakers still rely on the CPI for its more direct reflection of updated yearly consumer experiences. But overall, while the Fed targets a 2% inflation yearly, we've generally seen around a 3.3 inflation rate over the last 100 years, which might not seem like a lot, but combined has been a whopping 2,500% increase. Investing in the stock market looking pretty good now, huh? In conclusion, while inflation might seem like a nebulous concept, Tools like the CPI and PCE give us tangible ways to measure and understand it. They act as the economic barometers, helping policymakers, businesses, and consumers navigate the ever-changing financial landscape. So the next time you hear about inflation rates, remember the meticulous work that goes into calculating those numbers and the stories they tell about our economy's health.